This is the story of how we met, featuring Ty Jake. Sit back, relax, grab a cup of joe. Enjoy. Live in the yip yip. three, two, two one. one. Let her rip, Tater Chip. <laughs> Ty Jake. Welcome back to our page. Today we are telling you the one. Welcome back, Yip Chip. Yip Chip? Is that how you pronounce it? You Chip? <laughs> we, are, we are giving you guys the long awaited. We are giving you guys the long-awaited story of how we met. Mm -hmm. All right, so I, do you want me to let you go first? Because I don't want you to cut me off, and I know that's what you're going to do, because you do it every time. You're going to cut me off if I go, so I, that's what you always do. So what, would you like me? No cutting. Do, if you let me go. Go ahead, babe. I won't cut you off. You're cutting me off? <laughs> Okay, can you let me tell my story and then Go you can ahead. tell your story? Yes. I'll just, if I reason, feel like there's something makes... in there that isn't true because you know it's going to be, then I'll just intervene. For some reason, he makes up his own story of what happened that night. And when I try to tell the truth, he likes to cut me off and say it didn't happen. So let me tell you guys what happened that Fabricator, night. factuator, just so everybody knows. You're a cap -uator. You're a vernaculator. You're a masturbator. Okay, you're done. <laughs> okay, so this is the story of how we met. <laughs> you know you do that like. <laughs> <laughs> this is the story of how we met. Featuring Ty Jake. Sit back, relax, grab a cup of joe. Enjoy. <laughs> okay, so. I was visiting my friend Devon in Buffalo and myself, Devon and Bones were like, let's go out for dinner tonight. I'll intervene. Just quickly. I mean, pause. She. Do you is, see what I mean? Though, she's because... from Toronto. I'm trying to help you. But you, she's I don't from need the Toronto. help. I was going to get there. She's from Toronto. I, we both have to talk. No, because I'm telling my story and then you can tell your story after. Because we're going to tell the same story twice. Well, you're going to tell your side of the story that you think is true because that's not the way it went. Okay. And then we will let them decide which one is the actual story because everyone knows that I'm the one that's going to be telling the truth and you're the one that's going to be capping. Fabricator. Anyways. Factuator. Cap. You waiter. Anyways. Masturbator. <laughs> okay, baby. You don't get to cut me off. I will tell my story very quickly because it's not a very long story. So, okay. I was with Devon and Bones and we were like, okay, you know what? We're going to go out for dinner tonight. Cool. So they're getting ready. I'm like getting ready as well. And then I'm swiping on a dating app. I'm swiping on a dating app. So I'm swiping on a dating app and then I match with this face. Okay. It was a pretty nice face. I'm not gonna lie. So I match and I was like, Ooh, I'm intrigued. Right. Cause I'm like, I'm visiting my friends, Devon and, and Bones in Buffalo. I'm from Toronto. I'm visiting them in Buffalo for the weekend. And I was like, you know what? Like, why not? You know? So I messaged him and I said, hi, Jacob, because his name said Jacob on his dating app. And that's why I call him Jacob to this day, because that's what I know him as. His name said Jacob. It didn't say Jake. It said Jacob. My name is Jacob. It is Jacob. So I said, hi, Jacob. And then he says hi, and then we get to talking, and he's like, what are you doing tonight? And I said, oh, well, I'm supposed to be going out for dinner with my friends, but we're not sure where we're gonna go. Then he says that, oh, you should go to JT's. It's a really good restaurant, it's one of my favorites, and you should go there. So I say, oh, wow, okay, cool. He mentioned that he's going to Helium, which I didn't know what it was, but he said he was going there. And for some reason, I don't know what made me believe it was a concert, but I thought he was going to a concert that night. So concerts usually start around like what, seven, eight o'clock. So he said he was gonna go to JT's before he went to Helium. And he's like, yeah, you should go. So I'm here thinking that he, I was gonna miss him because we weren't going to dinner until like eight o'clock, eight, nine. So I thought he was gonna go to JT's earlier 
and then we were gonna go there i was gonna miss him whatever see you another time but that's not what happened we went to jt's and he was there he was at jt's but i didn't know that so i'm having dinner with bones and devon and he's texting me and then whatever he said i was like oh shoot he's here so then he goes, should I come say hi? Or do you want to come say hi? And I said, okay, well, I gotta go to the bathroom. And he was sitting at the bar and the bar is near the bathroom. So I went to the bathroom and as I was walking to the bathroom, I'm looking at the bar, it's a pretty long bar and I didn't see him. So I figured he was on the other end of the bar. So I get into the bathroom, I'm texting him. I said, hey, I just went into the bathroom. I didn't see you. I'm about to walk out. So like, look out for me, whatever. I walk out and I see him in a sea of people, okay? I see him, I see those pretty eyes, and he looks at me, and his face lit up like a freaking lantern. Tell me what you had on, babe. Okay, okay, I had on this cute little lingerie top and some tight jeans and this like She coat. had a lingerie on. We were going to a club after. We were going to a club after. So he, his face was like- I was like, this will work. Yeah, so he was like, hi, hello. And then we were talking for a little bit and then I was so smooth with it. I was like, he's like, okay, well, we're gonna go back. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go back to Devon and Bones. And then I was like, and we're gonna be at Rec Room tonight. You guys should come. And then he was like, okay. So then, anyway. Okay, bet. <laughs> so then anyways, fast Miss forward. Miss Lingerie. Fast forward, I get to the club and then he, he meets me there and he buys me a bunch of drinks. I get all lit. We're dancing, dancing. We start making out. And then he's like, you know what? I'll take you home or I'll take you back to Devon's. And I said, okay, cool. Crazy. When I look back on it, why did I get in? Cause he was with his friend. Why did I get in the car with him and his friend first day knowing him while I was drunk after a club? I always tell her how no, crazy that was. Yeah, not, that is not me that I don't do that. I don't know what I was thinking, but I did. Luckily we're awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, he, um, he drives, he's driving back to his house. And like, as we were on his way to his house, panic came over me. Cause I was like, these guys could literally kidnap me right now. And I was drunk too. So I was like, oh shoot, I was panicking. We get outside his house and actually the plan, yeah, the plan was for We're gonna him drop to take- Joe off. Cause I was gonna, I'm trying to get her back to my house, obviously. But Joe parked at your house. Yeah, so we, I was like, we'll go drop Joe off and then I'll drop you off. Yes, yes, yes. So he pulls up outside the house <laughs> and Joe's like, okay, bye guys. And then he looks over at me, he's like, you want to see my dog? Dougie! <sighs> Obviously I want to see your dog. Duh. Obviously I want to see your dog. So we walk up to the door and I'm ready to see this dog. And then he just pulls his pants down. And I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Fabricator, actuator. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. So we, <laughs> so we get to the door and then like, as we're going inside the door, we started kissing. Mind you, we've been making out all night already. <laughs> and she's not shy, okay? As much as she, she says she's shy, she was basically ripping my clothes off up the driveway. <laughs> I don't recall. Anyways, okay. um, and yeah, fast forward, it was a good night. It was a good night. And then in the morning, I was like, can you take me back to Devon? So he dropped me off at Devon's and Devon was at work. So he wasn't even home. So I showered and then I texted him and he was like, no, I think before you dropped me off, he said like, if you don't have anything to do, you can come back over. And I was like, oh, okay. So I showered and then he came or I drove over to his house. We hung out all day. So the rest was history. history. Is there anything that I did not tell yes. the truth about? So well, not that you didn't tell the truth about, but you left out some things. Okay, what did I leave out? So, um, we were exchanging, like we talked a lot on Bumble. You can, you have full conversations when you swipe right and match. Like we had a, we had a, you know, 20 text conversation back and forth on Bumble before we decided to go to the restaurant. So, and she knew I was at the restaurant. I told her I was going to the restaurant. We already made the uh, uh, 
time to go to the restaurant at the same time. So she knew I was there, That's not first true. of all. Second of all, uh, after we left the restaurant, I went to Helium and me and my friend met two other girls at Helium <laughs> that, that were totally about us. Like, were ready to have an evening with us for, for lack of, and I'm like, no, I'm not, I'm good. I, I met a, I met a girl before this. I'm good. You guys go ahead. I kind of feel bad for my buddy because he wanted to, but they, they were a sub, subpar to my little, to my little happy little clam here. Clam. So we met at the bar. I mean, we were, I was throwing her around this bar, making out. <laughs> like a 16 year old for easily an hour, right? We're at this bar, making out all over this bar for an hour before we left. So, and she knew, like she caught the vibe that me and my friend were good dudes. Like we weren't the type to just kidnap her ass. I did get that vibe, but at the same time, you don't know people. True. That's all. There it is. That's we we met on a dating app and uh, never looked back. Dating app, never look back. Uh -huh. And that's it. That's the story. I hope it lived up to everybody's expectations. I'm sure it did not. It's not as exciting as uh, as you would as you would think. I don't know. Do people meet in exciting ways? People do. We met in Italy on a gondola ride we under actually... the stars in the moonlit night with authentic wine and cheese and grapes. And I pulled her out of the water and said, I'll take you to another place where we can make love on satin until the morn. Name. Name. All right. <laughs> didn't That's it. it. it didn't That's it, like guys. That. I just, that, okay. That's it. That's all that happened. Yeah. So, um, how about while you're here, you like and subscribe? While you're here. I mean, if you got nothing else to do, like and subscribe or don't and leave a comment guys leave a comment about who you think is telling the truth actually no we were pretty much on the same page yeah pretty much we were pretty much on the same page i'll still say you're you're a fabricator and i'm a factuator but if you've made it this far to the end of the video leave a comment saying who you think is the fabricator of the relationship who you think always tells the story incorrectly just leave a comment saying that All right, bye. <laughs>